Hi fellas, welcome back. Um, this is a video I don't really want to make, to be perfectly honest with you. So unfortunately the time has come to uh, sell one of my minis, and the mini that I've sold is my blue one. As you can see I've got the uh, registration plate here. I just want to say, to get this registration plate off a car has been nothing but an absolute nightmare during uh, the whole coronavirus situation. So I, I applied to get a lock up. Oh, sorry, I applied to get the registration plate took off the, the car in end of May and it's only just come back in what is now end of July which is just absolutely ridiculous why it's took so long but anyway it's off and I know before anyone starts coming and saying oh you can take it off electronically um, I know you can take it off electronically I took it off electronically with other cars but for some reason if your car isn't taxed or put on a statutory off-road notification for 90 days it gets taken off the electronic system and then you can't do it so the previous owner who I bought it off two two and a half years ago must have taxed it and just left it in his just left it in his garage so unfortunately I couldn't take it off online hence why it's took so long to uh, to do so obviously my plates are off there's a couple of things that I've done for the new owner and um, who's going to come and pick it up as well so I've ordered some new plates for it so I've got some brand new press plates made up for him um, what else have I done? I've had the car valeted and I've also had a brand new MLT put on it for him as well so he's got MLT till I think it's end of July next year so yeah he's got 12 months trouble free motor and he can just get in it get in it and go all he's got to do is uh, all he's got to do is tax it I'm genuinely genuinely gutted this car's going I'm not going to lie um, I'm gonna get, I'll get into the reasons why I've sold it in a bit um, but yeah I'm genuinely genuinely gutted so I've had this car probably like say two and a half years um, I've done so much in it and it's probably the, the, the mini what sparked kind of my passion for minis the most I know I had the red mini before but I'd say this mini was the mini that really kind of got me into it because I've done loads of things to it I've never I've never had a car in my life where I've done so much to, to a car so like I said I've done wheels, suspension, brakes, interior literally everything apart from I'd say bodywork on that blue one um, I've done you know it's had engine bits done it's had you know exhaust it's had lights it's had literally everything um, and I'd say 80% of the stuff that's been done on it I've done it myself as well which I've never done that on a car before so yeah I'm genuinely genuinely good at it's going like I say I've done so much in it as well in terms of like shows so I've been to like sort of all the BMC shows um, I remember buying the car as well with Tom when I went down with Tom Shorrock to South and Nancy from Total Car Reviews um, I'm pretty sure you all knew who Tom is um, went down to Tom, went down with Tom to go and get it yeah, did, you know, what else did we do, did London to Brighton in it, we've done Himley, I've done uh, we went to IMM, Cole took it to IMM uh, all my mates who drove it, it's literally, it's been nothing but an absolutely mint car and like I said, I'm genuinely, genuinely gutted it's going so, getting on to the reasons why I've sold it, um, because I know loads and loads of people are going to be asking me why I've sold it and um, why I'm not keeping all four as much as I'd love to keep all four I literally just don't have space for four so I've got obviously I've got my double garage which I'm sat in now and I've got my van in there and I've got my Cooper S over there in the garage at the back of my house I've got my Mayfair my red one and I was keeping one of my cars at my granddad's um, which generally I used to keep my Mayfair at my granddad's because it's not one that I used a lot so I just left it there and it kind of just lived there so yeah getting on to the reason like I say why I've sold it is literally down to space I don't like relying on people um, and I know before I had this garage built I was relying on my granddad to keep my Mayfair there and I was relying on my mum to keep my blue one at her house and I had my van in my little garage and then once I built this double garage I had my van in here um, yeah my van in here and my blue one I had my Mayfair Mayfair and me in that garage so yeah I was I was actually alright and then I ended up buying the Mark 1 Cooper S which obviously put a span in the works so I had to take one of my cars back to back to my granddad's and I, I, the more I thought about it I just thought I don't really want to rely on someone for a garage because if you ever got to a point where my granddad said you know you can't keep your car in not that it had got to that point anyway I just thought I think getting to the point where you're having to be forced to sell one would be harder to sell it than what it would if I just naturally wanted to let it go also with getting busier through work um, as I'm kind of taking on more and more stuff so I took another um, another job role at work which has made me even more busier 
I've got other stuff going on um, in the pipeline as well. So having time to kind of look after four minis, it's just I just I just don't have the time for it, and I want to kind of focus my attention mainly on the van and the and the Cooper S. I've got so much I want to do with the Cooper S. So stay tuned, people. Loads of people keep asking me about it. Um, I've got so much to come on it. I've what's it called? I've ordered a lot of bits as well, which I think I mentioned in another video, um, so I'm not going to go on too much about that. So, yeah, it's literally just a just a case of space for me. Um, why I've why I sold it. So, right, I'm going to uh, I'm going to get busy, get the few bits on, um, and then we'll catch up with the new owner as well. Um, so, a lad called Ashley's Ashley's bought it. Um, I believe he's from kind of Midlands Midlands way. Um, so. Yeah, we'll catch up with Ashley, see what it's like, and I'll catch up with you at the end of the uh, end of the video. And there she is, all back on a all back on a standard plates. There's a new owner, Ashley. How we doing, you right? <laughs> you happy, mate? Buzzing, mate. Buzzing. Oh, good, good. That's what I want you. Want you to be happy, mate. So I'll leave a link to uh, Ashley's Instagram as well, and if anyone's interested in following what he's got planned for it make sure you drop him a follow and uh take it easy mate and enjoy it all right i've got a video of you driving off mate no problem at all clive thank you very much mate See you later mate, enjoy it. And that's it. And there you have it. She's gone. Absolutely wounded. As it drove through the street, I was just like, mate, what have I done? But, ah oh well. So, everyone's probably gonna be asking me, what's a replacement, what's a replacement? Um, so, the reason I've got this one in, in focus is, this is a replacement for my Blue Mini. So, one of the reasons why I initially sold it in the first place before this one even come about was I always I always wanted um, a Cooper S so obviously the reasons why I saw my blue one was to in order for me to make space to accommodate to accommodate something like this so yeah there won't be a replacement for the blue mini anytime soon I'm not going to rule out that I'm not going to buy another mini um, if the missus is watching I'm not going to buy one anyway <laughs> But yeah, I'm not going to buy anything soon. Like I say, I'm just going to focus my attention on this one on the van, you know. And you know, if 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 a mini turns up, that I can't resist. Um, you never know. I did think about buying kind of a a project mini just to kind of you know mess around with over the winter, do up, and you know maybe sell it and you know just as a little bit of a as a project for you know for for me, um, see if I can make a few quid on one and obviously get a bit of, get a bit of content for YouTube but the more and more I thought about it I just thought I know what I'm like if I buy a car I know that I'll just go way way overboard and I'll probably end up losing money on it so I just don't think it's don't think it's worth doing so yeah like I say there's going to be no direct replacement this was a replacement um, like I say I can get focus my attention on this now um, I've got a couple of things I want to do to this post post test run um, there's a few bits like I want to put some air filters on it. I need to sort the CV boot out on it. Um, Ten volt regulator wants doing. Um, what else wants doing? There's just loads of little niggly, loads of little niggly bits, and I need to figure out as well exactly where the ECU wants to go um, and all the relevant bits to make the adaption work for me to get driving it. So it's not something I want to rush into. I'm going to crack on with the van to, uh, tomorrow. I'm going to get the ECU buttoned up on that. I've bought a solar iron as well so I can get that done so yeah so hopefully within the next two weeks I can start work on start work on this so thanks for watching guys if you have got any questions um, as always do get in the in the comment section I just want to I just want to take the time as well to just say thank you to everyone who kind of messaged me um, on Instagram um, or leaves a comment on the YouTube videos you know I really do appreciate it and I will get back to everyone who, who you know leaves a leaves a comment I do I do appreciate you guys and you know the the old the old um, kind of what's it called the interaction in the YouTube comments is the main reason why I kind of do YouTube is you know these I, I love watching YouTube videos and I just thought I'll start a channel because I then maybe someone might be interested in what I'm doing and the fact I've got you know 
couple of thousand people subscribed to the channel now is just absolutely insane. So, you know, I really do appreciate it. Um, and as well, like I say, I appreciate everyone's advice. You know, if I ask a question about something, 99% of the time, um, I've got someone in the comment section, you know, telling me, you know, whether it should be this or should be that. And I really, really do appreciate it. So, I shall catch you next time, guys. Like I say, it'll probably be uh, on the van next time. Because, um, like I say, I'm literally just getting that ready and that's going to go to Minicanics, have all the suspension set up, um, and then it can go to the adaption place. And then it'll be, a, it'll be a first drive video. So, take it easy, guys. Have a good week, and I shall, uh, I shall see you next time.